Hey, today we're going to talk about how to write a 1.4 paragraph. And um, 1.4 paragraph is the format that we use all year long when you are writing a just a one paragraph to talk about a source. Normally you will have a source that goes along with this paragraph and basically all it is is it is one paragraph with four sentences. It's pretty straightforward. It consists of four different parts. And the first part here is going to be the topic sentence. The topic sentence is when you talk to us about who or what this entire paragraph is going to be about. Next, you're going to go ahead and you're going to make a claim. You are going to use the evidence that you've been given in order to make a, a claim or come up with a stance on an idea based that the topic sentence is based off of. Third, you'll have a piece of evidence. This is where you will use the source that your teacher has provided and that source you will pull out specific details from it to help support the claim that you have made. And finally, you have the evaluation. The evaluation is the so what piece. So you've talked to me about a certain topic, you have made a claim about it, you've provided evidence that supports that claim. So here's where you analyze and you come up with, well, so what? So where does this lead us next? This is a source, uh, an example of a source that you may um, receive. This is from the Industrial Revolution in the 1800s and the 1900s when a lot of children were not going to school. Instead, they were working, um, you know, and supporting their families. So I'm going to go ahead, read this source with me while I read it aloud. Children toiled in cotton mills as spinners, doffers, and sweepers. Girls were employed as spinners. They walked up and down long aisles, brushing lint from the machines and watching the whirling spoons, spools and bobbins for breaks in the cotton thread. When a break occurred, they had to mend it quickly by tying the ends together. A spinner tended six or eight sides, as the long rows of spindles were called. She had to be on her feet nearly all the time, working 11 or 12 hours a day, six days a week. The hot, steamy air was filled with dust and lint that covered the workers' clothes and made it hard to breathe. Mill workers frequently developed tuberculosis, chronic bronchitis, and other respiratory diseases. A boy working in a cotton mill was only half as likely to reach 20 years of age as a boy outside of the mill. Girls had even less of a chance. So based off of this source, it's talking about these little kids working in mills. It sounds very difficult. It sounds like it's um, not only dangerous, but it's dirty and it's hot and it's just a very uncomfortable place to work day in and day out. And it talks about how kids are working 11 and 12 hours a day, six days a week. That's a pretty insane work schedule. So on the right, you have a question that's been posed to you by your teachers. It says, describe one example of working conditions for children who worked in the mills and factories during the Industrial Revolution. Be sure to use the 1.4 paragraph format by including a topic sentence, your claim, textual evidence, and an evaluation of that evidence. So topic sentence, what are we talking about? Well, if you look back at your question, it tells you that we're talking about children it also tells you that we're talking about the Industrial Revolution. So we need to add those pieces in our topic sentence. And I have it written right here. So it says, during the Industrial Revolution, that's my time period, many children, that's who we're talking about, they worked in factories instead of attending school. Perfect. I know what's the time period. I know the population of people we're talking about. So now that we have a topic sentence created, we need to come up with this claim. So what can we conclude based on the evidence? Well, we just looked over that source together, and again, it looks like these kids kind of had it rough. So I think we can make that conclusion. We can make that claim. It was not easy. It was not safe to work in a mill. And so here's our claim. The working conditions in factories were very dangerous. Pretty straightforward. So now that we've created a claim, we need to come up with evidence. So what proof do you have to support your claim? Now, this piece has a ton of evidence. Uh, pieces or that could be proof that, yeah, it was pretty dangerous to work in these, um, in these factories. You could have picked anything from the fact that the kids are working really long hours because um, and they're tired. You know, maybe that would make it dangerous. If you are working excessive amounts of hours, you're not giving your best work. And, you know, maybe these kids are working next to these machines and they could get caught in the machines and become greatly injured. Um, it mentions here that the air is filled with dust and lint that's covering their clothes and it makes it so hard to breathe. And so there are a couple different pieces you could have picked from. In my opinion, this is the best source for the claim. 
The hot, steamy air was filled with dust and lint that covered the workers' clothes and made it hard to breathe. And if you look here, I have uh, a little transition there. It says the text states there is a comma and then there is the quotation marks. And it's an exact quote from the reading. Make sure that you always close your quotation marks as well. So the last piece here that we need is we have the evaluation, which is the so what. Okay, so you have told me who we're talking about. You've made a claim. You've supported that claim. Well, what does that mean? So now we need the analysis part, the so what. A lot of kids make this mistake and write, and that's why it was dangerous. No, we need you to push a little further. So what does that mean for kids that they're working in these dangerous conditions? And so as a result, what happens that these kids were working in this hot, steamy place? Well, as a result, many of the mill workers became ill and some even died. If you wanted to pull even further, you could have gone ahead and you could have talked about the fact that, you know, boys um, who worked in the mills lived or had a shorter lifespan than boys who didn't work in mills. Girls, they didn't even, hardly reach 20 years old. You could have added more of those pieces. Um, but this is just kind of a simple blanket. Many of the mill workers became ill and some even died. So this has been just a brief evaluation or a brief overview, excuse me, of how to write a 1.4. Um, during this whole school year, you will be writing 1.4s, and, and I encourage you to talk with your teachers and work with them so that you can write the best one possible.